Go take a little trip inside the future with me. Go take a little dip. Go take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. Cause the car, the cars, the key clarity. The cars, the cars, the key with you need. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo, and I'm going to do a pick a card reading, okay? So this is going to be your next sexual encounter. So pick a person. You don't even have to pick a person. But we're just going to pick up on your next sexual encounter. Sexual, sexual, sex, you well, sexual. Okay, y'all? <laughs> Hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for the likes and subscribes thus far. Hit my email if you would like a reading by me. Everything is $10 this week, okay? Because I've been feeling super good, been getting super blessed. So I feel like I should bless y'all. Okay, love y'all, thank y'all. Let's get to it. All right, what's good, Pile One? So what is your next sexual encounter going to be like? I did do channel messages for each pile. So for you guys, I got four of the night, okay? So for some of y'all, this is going to be a one-night stand. Um, doesn't have to be, okay? Um, then we got throwback coochie and throwback penis, okay? So some of y'all, this is somebody that you used to talk to or mess with in the past, like in high school, um, college, whatever the case is for you. Somebody that you used to mess with in the past. For some of y'all, you've never messed with this person. This is just somebody that you knew in the past. Maybe you had a crush on this person, okay? But for some of y'all, I'm getting that this is gonna be like the last time you do the do with somebody, okay? Um, so we gotta meet someone at a party. So for some of y'all, just take it how it resonates, but you're probably gonna meet somebody at a party or you're gonna meet somebody that you used to know at a party, okay? It's so like you're gonna bump into somebody that you used to know at a party or you're gonna meet up at somebody at a party and this is where y'all gonna, you know, where's all gonna start at okay so we are riding home hotel and destination so i'm definitely seeing like i said if you guys meet this person at a party or out somewhere you're gonna end up riding home with them somehow you guys are gonna end up riding to your destination for some of y'all i really do see like a hotel uh for some of y'all i see like um airbnb or just to somebody's house some of y'all y'all literally just gonna stay in the car <laughs> um but this is like Mm. So we got aggressive in bed. This person could be aggressive as heck. It says old friend or an old lover, like I said already. Um, it seems like you and this person go back and forth between each other. Like, do y'all want to be friends, best friends, or lovers? Just can't tell them, you know, just can't tell. They, it's almost like y'all best friends or lovers. All right, my bad. It's almost like y'all can't y'all can't decide if y'all want to be friends or lovers, but y'all are really good together. So I'm getting that you and this person are really going to be play fighting with each other. It's going, I'm just seeing like a cute little scenery where y'all just flirty, just very, very flirty with each other. Um, play fight, fighting. I'm seeing biting, okay? Somebody here likes to bite. Um, I feel like it's the female energy that likes to bite a little bit. Um, gonna get that man feeling real nice, okay? Then we got, um, this person's very smooth, okay? I feel like this person is verbal or you're very verbal, verbal in bed. So this person would love to hear what you have to say when they're in you or while you're in them, okay? Um, they never saw you in this light before. It's almost like this never, this person, whoever this is, they never seen. So if this is somebody that you used to have sex with, y'all was probably young. Because I'm hearing my boo started when we were younger. So um, they probably never saw you in this light. They probably never got sex with you, sexual with you like this, or at least not to this level. Y'all probably had other people. Um, I'm hearing those other men were practice. <laughs> they were practice for me, for me, for me, for me. Okay, so <laughs> even if you haven't had sex with this person, this person is going to feel that way when they have sex with you. They're going to feel like, damn, if you have had sex with a lot of people or whoever you had sex with, thank you, thank them because this shit is bomb for me. Shit, this is how your person is going to feel, okay? Uh, this person wants to watch you take a bath. Like, I don't know why this is so romantic, especially if the people are like at a party or meeting up at a party, but this person wants to watch you bathe. Um, then it says, this person moans loud or you moan really loud or they're gonna have you moaning super loud okay so i just see like the cutest little like i don't know scenario um and this person kisses and tells so they probably gonna tell everybody like damn i got that coochie though last night 
<laughs> Ooh, or this is gonna be you like do you know who i just smashed i'm weak y'all are funny so let's get into the cards so we got deep cellular healing okay this sex is going to be super fucking healing okay emotionally physically this person is going to make you feel so damn good i feel like they're really good with their hands whatever they do they might touch you and this is going to feel like healing okay you this person is going to have you super wet or you're going to have this person super wet okay um I never noticed this, but it's almost like, I don't know, y'all gonna be vibrating high, okay? And y'all might use a vibrator, is what I'm getting. So this is definitely, like I said, somebody from your past, okay? You may not have seen this person sexually like this in the past, or they may not have looked at you like that, but when y'all collide, it's gonna be bomber shit, okay? For some of y'all, this is actually your husband, okay? So for some of y'all, this is somebody that you're gonna end up marrying, okay? Um, This is... Like, you're going to bump into somebody from your childhood, you're going to end up marrying them. Or you're going to, like, bump into your actual husband, maybe maybe never met this person before. But when you bump into this person and uh, y'all have sex, uh, they're not going anywhere from there. For some of y'all, this is actually your husband or somebody that you were in a long committed relationship with in the past, okay? And when you bump into this person, you got this sex is going to heal everything that was wrong in the past yeah this person is your dream so you're gonna be meeting somebody who is literally your dream come true okay okay yeah so this person is definitely your dream come true this sex is going to be bomb as fuck this sex is going to be transformative um you're going to be seeing this person in a different light as well probably after your sex but this is going to be bomb as hell. So we got thank you next. I feel like some of you guys, you guys are like just got out of a relationship or you guys have healed from a relationship or this sex is going to heal you from whatever somebody else did to you or it could have been what this person did to you. So take a high resonate. But this sex is going to be amazing, okay? And it's going to make you very grateful that you moved on from this whoever hurt, like, hurt you in the past, okay? Um, So we got... This here, this person is going to be really in their head, okay? Or is what I'm getting is, if you already know this person, this person actually thinks about you quite a lot. Um, yeah, it's almost like, yeah, you're not in contact. You do not, you're not in contact with this person, y'all. This person may think about you a lot, and when they bump into you, they're going to really take that chance. You guys are not in contact with this person, but this person is going to be your husband or your wife. This person is like, damn, you're beautiful as fuck. Or when they see you at that party or wherever they see you, it doesn't even have to be a party, y'all. It's just going to be, like, somewhere out. This person is definitely going to, like think you're beautiful and they're going or handsome as hell and they're going to approach you okay they're going to be like brianna is it you bruh you done toned up you done lost a lot of weight okay so this person could be a, a libra gemini aquarius or this could be you for some of y'all this person is actually the same sex as you um so let's get into the sex so once you guys get real good <laughs> and and settled Somebody's going to start off with a deep throat, okay? <laughs> Ooh, so, um, somebody has a deep throat, either you or this person. Um, I feel like you get fire ass head is what I'm getting. This person is not going to expect that. Your head is going to be like a dream come true. This person's going to, I'm sorry, when I said they're going to be telling people, they're going to be like this, that her head is fire or his head is fire. This person a freak freak, okay? They like it when you deep throat them, but they want to suck on your toes. I feel like you must have like beautiful feet to them. I'm seeing a toe ring as well. This person wants to suck on your fucking toes. I'm getting a big toe specifically. Um, yeah, this person, oh man, this person is a freak. And it says your ex, your, your um, clit is getting extra attention. So I feel I feel like this person really likes the 69 okay this person likes to do a lot of foreplay before they get to really really fucking they want to make sure you're feeling good they want to make sure you're good and wet or they want to make sure you're good and hard okay they want to make sure that <laughs> they touching all the right spots is what i'm getting this person is going to grab on your ass like this this person may even tell you this person is very verbal they're going to tell you that you look fucking good or that you're thick or whatever it is that you need to hear in that moment they're going to tell you that shit okay and i feel like if you're sucking their dick they're going to be talking to you while you're doing this okay and i just see toes curling <laughs> as well okay and then when they're giving you head if they if they're the female this is going to be head like no other, okay? Their head is bomb as hell as well. They know how to just, I don't know. They know how to be coochie, okay? 
this person is all about pleasuring. This person eats butt too. So for some of y'all, I'm getting that this person, when they're giving you head, they're just going to look, uh, then they're going to go down and you're not going to expect this. For some of y'all, y'all are really not going to expect this person will stick their tongue in your butt. <laughs> so I'm sorry, this is so explicit, but this is what y'all asked for. This person likes foreplay. This person is going to be rubbing on your nipples. They're going to make sure that you're wet as fuck. And I feel like this is this is the part that's going to be healing. I feel like this person is just going to make, this person wants to make sure you get your nut. And this is where the healing comes in, okay? Like, they want to make sure you're good, okay? For some of y'all, y'all might actually still do this um, in the car or outside of the party or wherever. Or some of y'all, this is just some sneaky ass sex. Oh, uh, yes. So, for some of y'all, this person is a cheater, okay? This is not for all y'all. If, if your person's a cheater, you're going to know that this person's a relationship. You're going to already know uh, because you two are going to be being sneaky together. So, that message isn't for everybody. For the most part, I'm feeling like y'all are really um, meeting someone who's going to end up being your person. And if this person is cheating uh, on somebody else with you, um, this person knows that they're, I know this is crazy to say, but this person is like, knows that they're meant to be with you. Yeah, I'm getting that. Most of y'all won't even make it out of the car. Some of y'all won't make it out of the vehicle. And this is why all y'all are doing is sucking on each other, uh, deep throating each other, uh, eating booty and all that shit. Somebody can't wait. For others of y'all, they, y'all start doing this in the car and then y'all make it to the, to, to the house, to the hotel, to the, Airbnb, wherever y'all finna do with that. Some of y'all, y'all just don't, y'all cannot make it out of the car. Um, but like I said, um, if this person's being sneaky, this person feels like your dream dreams come true. They actually want to make you their husband and their wife, but you want to make sure, um, damn, this person gonna nut quick too. I feel like they're gonna nut multiple times, but the first time, it's, it's gonna be like, that. You, you guys are doing so much foreplay that as soon as they go in, they nothing, bro. They're nothing. They're like, oh, fuck, I'm so sorry. That shit just so damn good. But it's it's because they made the energy right. It's because you both made the energy right. Um, But, yeah, that's what I'm getting. That's what your next sexual encounter is going to be like. Uh, Love y'all. Thank y'all. Hit that like and subscribe button. Mm, triple X rated. <laughs> I love y'all, bye. Too. So what is your next sexual encounter going to be like? I did channel messages for each pal. So for you guys, um, I got that some of you guys have Afro puffs or you guys wear your hair like puffy like. This person really is attracted to your Afro puffs or to your hair or uh, to your kinky like hair. Some of you guys have dreadlocks or twists in your hair or box braids. This person really likes the way that your hair is styled or the way that you style your hair. And some of you guys have silky like hair. Hair. This person fucking loves your hair, and I'm getting coconut oil. I don't know why, but this person must like say a lot of shit or like say stuff about your hair. So let me know if this person ever compliment on your hair, because if so, I don't know, but your hair make them horny or something, or the way you style your hair, or the way you take care of your hair, or the way you, the, your hair smells. I'm feeling like for some of y'all, this person is a tourist, and they really like smells, and your hair smells good as fuck. Okay, and I, like I said, coconut oil. Now that's enough for the hair messages. I, I don't know why the hair was so important. But um, this person feels like you earned their penis or their coochie and they cannot wait to give it to you. <laughs> this person made you wait or work for their vagina or their penis. Um, so we got sex magic. When you do have sex with this person, it's going to be fire. Okay? You're going to feel really drawn to this person. This person going to feel really drawn to you. And then you're going to notice how abundant you and this person are going to be after you guys have sex. Um, they only see you. This person only sees you. Um, it says they're not used to someone being so gentle with them. So this person probably has gotten used a lot. Or this could be you. So you're probably not used to people being gentle with you sexually for some reason. And or this is them. But it's almost like they're they're not used to like adult like sex. It's almost like they were having kitty sex the whole time. Like where they just come in and fuck like nothing. Like they, the the people that they were having sex with in the past were never really gentle, never really called them beautiful. Like I feel like this sex is gonna be like a dream come true compared to the sex in the past where they just fucked and then left or whatever the case. Um or vice versa you'll know if this is your energy like are you not used to people being gentle with you like i feel like this person is just gonna be like rubbing on your face and calling you beautiful it may make you or this person uncomfortable a little bit but they're gonna like it i feel like 
whoever it is that is not used to this, they're going to like the gentle energy. They're just not used to it. So they may have like some type of anxiety or some shit. And this person is going to notice this or you're going to notice that this person is having anxiety. Okay. Um, they think you're worth it sexually. Okay. Um, this person could be a virgin or this person could be celibate. Okay. So this person, like I said, this person is like, it's almost like you're going to take their virginity somehow like they never either they they haven't hooked up with a lot of people they haven't had sex in a really long time um they're they're literally celibate or they're literally a virgin or for some of y'all this person was literally abstinent and shit but then they met you and now they're like i don't know i think i want to give you this coochie <laughs> or this is you like you're actually supposed to be abstinent or something but you're changing your mind. This is for some of y'all. Um, but yeah, this person thinks you're perfect. Um, they love how you move your body while you guys are having sex. So I'm getting like somebody knows how to, um, I don't know. I do a Kegel. When, <laughs> some of y'all can do Kegels when the person is inside, okay? Or if you're a male, she knows how to move her coochie muscles real, real nice. I'm also getting that if this person is on top of you, you know how to fuck this person back. And they're like, <laughs> nobody fuck me back like that so i feel like you just know how to fuck this person back and people either can't handle this typically or whatever the case but you won't fuck this person back they don't like it um it says um this person's in love with you and this person says that you're worth the risk now i'm not really sure what that means for some of y'all this person might be cheating on somebody if you're worth a risk okay but others of you this person just feels like you're worth the risk because they've gotten hurt in the past and they're like shit it, it's worth it you know i've been hurt already shit it's time to try love again through sex because your sex is gonna be bomb your sex is going to make them for some of y'all this person already in love with you okay for some of y'all, the sex is going to make them like, okay, you know what? Fuck it. I, let's just be in a relationship. Okay. Fuck it. I, <laughs> we can heal together. Okay. So we got fall into my arms. Surrender holding the opposite extremes of life. Like I said, this sex is going, this person is going to hold you really tight. Okay. And they're going to make you wet as hell or you're going to make them wet as hell. Okay. Uh, this person is going to show you different when it comes to sex. Okay. I feel like you're not really used to what this person is going to show you sexually. So we got ecstasy. Like I said, multiple orgasms. You're going to give this person butterflies. I feel like when this person sees you, uh, before y'all get to having sex, this person is just going to have so many chills, so many butterflies. This person is going to be so freaking happy. And this person has just so much love for you. This energy is going to be bomb as hell. Some bomb ass sexual energy then we got j cole wet dreams it started off so innocent she had a vibe and the nigga started digging it it's a, yeah it's almost like this person feels like you're really worth it okay when they first met you maybe you they they didn't like genuinely think that you guys would be anything they thought oh this is innocent or we, we just you know friends or whatever the case but this person actually is digging you a lot and they're actually falling in love with you or they are in love with you um they feel like when they see you it says them thighs on them and them hips on them they love your body okay you must be thick or your thicker features they really love it okay this person thinks about you a lot this person cannot wait to get in bed with you okay this person is also going to be obsessed with you sexually okay they're going to be really in bliss okay they're going to be really wanting to fuck a lot um it said i ain't never did this before so when they do this they may not be used to the energy they're feeling when it comes to you but i feel like you have really good sexual healing energy and this person is just gonna be like bruh i'm obsessed with this pussy <laughs> i hypnotized i hypnotize you with this pussy <laughs> now you feel like you could fly you will make this motherfucker feel like they can fly okay so this person probably was a fuck boy in the past okay but I'm feeling like this person is going to be like, shit, it's time for me to chill out. <laughs> so this person, it's, it feels, yeah, this person is going to be really in their head almost. Um, so I'm going to check out that energy there. But let's look at, yeah, it's almost like, okay, for some of y'all, y'all don't even know who this is. This is somebody you wouldn't even expect. So for those who don't even have the person in their mind already, this is somebody you would not expect. It's like you and this person are going to start off really, really innocent. Or you don't expect this person to fall in love with you. Or you don't expect to fall in love with this person at the sex. But this is going to be mom as hell. Okay? It says you're the only one they see. Yeah, this is somebody that you would not expect. Okay? It could be a player, a fuckboy, somebody who was a fuckboy in 
the past. Uh, you could be nervous about this person, but this person is genuine about you, okay? Yeah, I'm getting that you have wavy hair or they have wavy hair or curly hair, okay? And they just love the way your hair is something black or brown. It's something about y'all hair that this person is like in awe with you, okay? Their name could start with a G H R or S, Gerald, um, Jera, um, Harold, Harley, Ray, Raymond, Sean, Shashua. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know that. Um, Shaniqua, Shanika, Shay. Something about that. Okay, anyway. So for some of you, oh, oh man, this person is not going to be able to wait. For some of y'all, y'all are literally going to have sex outside. Um, doesn't have to be for all y'all, but it's almost like this person just was like, hold on, I can't freaking wait. Like, you're too bomb. I feel like this person likes challenges or what's the word? Challenges. They like to be just out there. Um, I don't feel like people are going to be seeing y'all. Y'all can easily do this in y'all backyard. People are not going to be looking at y'all, but this person just cannot wait this person wants the fucking nature okay so this sex is going to be so snatching this person is going to snatch your soul and i feel like you're going to fall in love with them too okay this sex is going to be bomb as hell it's almost like because i feel like you guys are not going to expect it i feel like for some of y'all y'all going to come into this thinking okay well if it works out it works out but this person is like going to fall in love with you this is going to be so snatching so you and this person may do 69 okay um they give really good head or you give really good head or this is just one of their fantasies but they're going to try to play out this fantasy with you okay for some of y'all i'm getting y'all going to have sex in a hot tub um some of y'all y'all going to be on vacation the hot tub it is outside um for some of y'all i'm just getting that y'all just going to be outside um like rendezvousing i don't even know how to um express it for others some of y'all okay this is going to be like a netflix and chill situation you meet up with somebody and you're like hey I don't, you know, you might not think that this person is going to be anything. You might just think this is going to be a sexual partner, but this is probably going to end up to be something. You might think this person is a fuckboy, but this sex is going to be bomb. They're going to snatch your soul and they're going to fall in love with you. For some of y'all, like I said, if y'all are already in love with this person or talking to this person, you and this person are going to be like doing Netflix and chill, just like eating popcorn, chilling, relaxing. Yeah. I'm getting like, for some of y'all, it's just not at home. For some of y'all, it's at an odd place. For some of y'all, it's literally like y'all are at home or not at home, but like outside or like at a party or like at a movie or something. So for some of y'all, y'all are literally going to like, this person is going to take you out on a date, take you to a movie or something. Um, and after the movie, you guys are going to have sex either in the car or outside of the movies or something like that. Doesn't have to be, but for, for most of y'all, I'm getting like, y'all going to have sex in a place that's not typically where you typically don't have sex. Like, it's not going to be in your bed. It's not going to be in their bed, okay? So that's what I mean by an odd place. It could be literally outside or just neither one of you guys' is bed. So I'm feeling like um, you're very shy. You're going to be very shy when it comes to this person. But this person, <laughs> this person's talkative. This person's going to say, open your legs. If you're a female, open those legs. Yeah, y'all gonna be having sex in somebody else's bed. Like, I'm really getting, for some of y'all, y'all gonna be having sex at a hotel. For some of y'all, y'all gonna be having sex at somebody else's house. Um, but this is not gonna be at either one of y'all houses. This is gonna be somewhere on a vacation or out, okay? You and this person are gonna be playing with each other. Y'all gonna, like, it's almost like you're gonna jack this person off or vice versa. And this person is going to be playing with you. Um, I'm just getting like a lot of mutual energy. Like, oh, you touch me. I'm going to touch you. Because this person is shy or you are, okay? So it's almost like you have to kind of play with this person a little bit. Like, I don't know. This person is not going to go straight in. Or you're not going to go straight in. You're not going to just start fucking. But once you get this person like good and lubed up or they get you good and lubed up, this sex is going to be bomb, okay? It's going to be something that you didn't expect. Yeah. And be careful because it's going to be bomb. Like, y'all might have a baby, okay? I am seeing ecstasy, bliss, and babies. So, yeah, this I, three or three three or more orgasms here, okay? This is like, going to be a lot of orgasms. This person is going to give you some bomb-ass head is what I'm getting if you're a female. So, if this, 
whoever the male is loves to eat coochie. This person wants to suck on your clit. Um, and this person is going to give you multiple orgasms. Also, I feel like they just won't be able to handle your coochie if you're a female. If you're a male, be careful. You know, this person gets super fucking wet is what I'm getting. And if you're not wanting any babies right now, you know, be careful because there's a lot of orgasms here. But that's what I'm getting. That's your next sexual encounter. Hit the like and subscribe button. Love y'all. Please pal three. What is your next sexual encounter going to be like? I did channel messages for each pal. So for you guys, I got... They love your head, okay? You get fire ass head. Uh, I'm saying, uh, I'm literally saying somebody. <laughs> is this? Am I gonna get flat? Anyway, I'm saying somebody like slobbering on some dick, okay? <laughs> I really am like, I, I don't know if you know how to excessively get that spit up there. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But this, I'm trying to get. Sorry, y'all. Y'all making my mouth wet, wet ass mouth. But uh, I'm trying to give y'all visualization without being just nasty as fuck. But you know how to like keep making the spit come is what I'm getting. Sloppy as fuck. Okay, if you're a female, if you're a male, then she know how to do that. Okay, um, so you could be from the west side or this person's from the west side and west side of anything. West side of the world, west side of their state, your city, whatever. This person's from the west somehow. Um... This person does not want to waste your time. For some of y'all, this person is in the military, doesn't have to be. For some of y'all, there's something here about this person being in jail or going to jail, doesn't have to be. For some of y'all, this person is in a relationship that's jail-like. Uh, I'm getting, for some of y'all, that y'all will be smoking. Uh, so for some of y'all, y'all smoke weed, y'all might smoke with this person. For some of y'all, y'all drink, you will be drinking with this person. Okay, y'all get it. Some of y'all, y'all pop pills, I'll be popping for this popping with this person or this is this person's energy they do these things um doesn't have to be but i'm getting that they're going to be under the influence of something where you are so we got fallen in love with you their last relationship was horrible or their current relationship is horrible um might have so this person might have cheated so if you're in a relationship with this person this person might have cheated on you okay um for others of you it's like this person might be cheating on somebody else. Doesn't have to be, but you'll know, okay? You don't trust them, but you love them. It's almost like you love this person, but you don't trust this person. But I am getting that this sex is going to be sexual, I mean, healing, okay? A lot of sexual healing. But it does say, um, don't do it if you're not ready, okay? So for some of y'all, y'all are healing over something else. For some of y'all, y'all are healing from what this person did to you. And it's just telling you, if you ain't ready to have sex with this person or anybody, do not do it. Um, you're very attracted to this person, okay? Um, they will show you real love. And they know you're hurt. They just want to help heal you. Okay, so I'm just getting like this person wants to help heal you sexually, uh, for some of y'all, this person really did do something to y'all. For some of y'all, this person is a cheater, and somebody else did something to y'all. This person is gonna come heal you. Nonetheless, this sex is gonna be healing, okay? So I feel like for some of y'all, y'all really were in a relationship with this person, or are in a relationship with this person, or this, like I said, this sex is gonna heal you from what somebody else did. So we got questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. So I feel like this sex is going to make you see things more clearer, okay? Um, it's going to make you detach from certain people. It could be this person. It could be anybody. But this, this sex is going to, like, give you everything you need, okay? It's almost going to take you through, um... Like the dark night of soul is what I'm getting. Or like your shadow side. It's going to make you see shit, okay? So we got sacrifice, offering, letting go. Like I said, this this sex is going to make you want to let go of something or somebody. So for some of y'all, y'all are actually in a relationship with somebody. And this sex that you're going to have with somebody else is going to make you like not want to have sex with your person anymore. Or the person that you're in a relationship with. And vice versa. If that person is in a relationship, this sex is going to make your person, like, realize that they don't want to be with that person. So, we got comfort in ending. I was not the only one. Why'd you call it love? We were in love, but I was the only one. So, I was the only lonely one. I thought you were the one, so it was worth it. Yeah, y'all want to be careful, okay? If y'all talking to somebody and you think this person is the one, but they're talking to someone else i'm getting comfort and ending okay it's almost like you guys are going to meet up at a hotel it's almost like you guys have to be sneaky for some reason um 
But it says, I thought I thought you were the one, so it's worth it. It's almost like you thought this person was the one, so you find like, you feel like it's worth it to have sex with them, but you will be sacrificing something if you have sex with this person, okay? Uh, and I don't feel like this person is aligned with you, so this is why you're probably going to go through some type of spiritual awakening after this sex. This person might ghost you, or they may have... I'm getting some of y'all, this, this person has two of y'all, two of y'all, two or more, okay? So I'm getting that you're going to be very spiritual. This person is about their money um, or, yeah, but you're going to find out about something. Like I said, something is going to be really unveiled to you after sex or during sex with this person. Like I said, comfort and ending. Um, some of y'all, I'm hearing this baby, this person has a baby mother or baby father. You're going to find out something about that. Um, because I'm hearing the song, um, how did, what did she say? I should have, I don't know, something about when the baby, when your baby mama came through the door, something like that, I forgot, I have to hear the song, but some of y'all, this person, it's like you're going to find out about their baby mother, their baby father, or it's something here you're going to find out. So, this person could have short hair, okay, or bald hair, or this is you. This person could be fi under 5'3", or this is you, and this person really, really likes that. This person feels like you have a really nice smile, or this is them, okay? This person has a nice smile. They have braces or have had braces in the past. Yeah, I'm getting that the person here um, is a male, okay, of course. But there's, there's something here that is toxic as hell going on. I do want to pull one more. What's going on here? What's going on here? The sex. Yeah, you're going to learn something here. Um, but this sex is still going to be healing. So let's see. This person loves your body. This person loves the way you look. They love your body. They love your thighs, your hips. Um, I'm feeling like <laughs> some of y'all booty jiggle when you walk because I just seen somebody booty jiggling in my head. <laughs> uh, but this person is all talk. They talk a lot of shit. Man, this person be in their head. I feel like this person fantasizes about you a lot, but this person's all talk. This person's really scared to have sex with you, or it's something here where this person's scared, okay? It's, but I feel like some of y'all have not had sex with this person is what I'm getting. So you're manifesting sex with this person. But I feel like something's going to happen. Some of y'all, y'all might not even want to have sex with this person after a while, but this person is going to be the best if you guys do end up having sex with this person, this is going to be some of the best sex you ever had. For others, but it's it's going to be like a fantasy. So some of y'all are just in the midst of fantasizing about this person, or this person is fantasizing about you a lot. Okay, this person loves your body, but this person is so scared. It's almost like for some of y'all, this is an online connection. Okay, this person lives at a far from you. Um, for other of you, this person is almost like I don't know, but this person is so nervous and so scared. Um, so if they're talking to you about sex right now, they're, they're all talk. This person's nervous, but they love your body. They do. They really love your body. So let's go on next. All right. What is the sex going to be like? It's like not really giving me sex. It's telling me that you're going to find something out. What's the sex going to be like? The sex is going to be sneaky for some reason, okay? It's almost like, I don't know, is this person dealing with somebody else? Is this person married? Like, this person has good, if this is a male, okay, this person has good ass, huge penis, okay? They might be keeping keeping that um on the hush-hush. What's sex going to be like for Pal 3? Ah! What's sex going to be like for Pal 3? I just feel like this person, it's too much sneakiness going on here. This person is a minute man. This person is going to bust quick if you guys do decide to have sex. But this person so scared. This person loves the way you smell, but it's not saying nothing about how you feel about the situation. It's just telling me that this person has a big penis and it's good and this person going to nut real quick. They love your body, but they all talk. They love the way you smell. They, they fantasize about you a lot. But I feel like you're not going to want to have sex with this person after you find something out. There's something you're going to find out. I feel like you think you want to have sex with this person now. It's manifesting. But there's something here that the universe is going to make you see. And you're not going to want to have sex with this person anymore. Because I seek the truth. The next sexual encounter. Y'all see how it just cut off right when I... So, because I seek the truth. What is the truth here? What are... Excuse me. You just might find out that this motherfucker's all talk. 
that the shit they say is all talk. Okay? Yeah, it's something you're going to see here. This person may be friendly with others or a wolf in sheep clothing, okay? It's almost something like you're going to see something or somebody's going to speak out to you, okay? You're going to see, like, um, them be with an ex or it's almost going to be like somebody's going to come say something to you or you're just going to see it with your own two eyes. And whatever it is that you see is going to piss you off. So spirit, universe, God is definitely going because you're very protected, okay, is what I'm getting. So um, this person is not going to be able to get over on you. You're not gonna have sex with whoever. If you're you, if you have somebody in mind, you're gonna find out something. This person has a lot of eternal struggles that they need to improve, and universe is going to show you this before you even drop them draws for this person. Okay, so try to pick another pal without somebody in your mind because the person that you were thinking of was a fucky fucking nose. Okay, it's something here. This person is. What is this person hiding? I mean, you're going to be able to find it out by yourself because you're going to be, it's going to, you're going to see it, okay? 